of the community is, is an ancient knowledge which you need to be able to really understand and know how these things connect each other. So you are coming from somewhere in order to now manifest in this physical body, in order to be manifested in this physical body. But let I say, before you are being manifested in this physical body, somebody has already constructed something to pull this particular energy form that you are in here. So you are now being compressed. You are a universe which is being compressed, which is being compressed through a certain construct which is being constructed in order to press you. You, you were in a, you were in, this body that you're seeing used to be in a liquid form, you in vapor, in whatsoever. But somebody constructed something to trap, to make you solid, to make this body that you're seeing solid. And those people who constructed this, these people I know, they are no fools. They know what they are doing. And so they know that they are going to come into the domain which they themselves have created and that is when they are going to suck the energy of the people who think that they are the rulers of that place. And so what happened when they entered into that particular place? Would you, would you talk about Egypt? They suck the energy wrong. They suck the energy in order to do what? In order now they, they got energy to go to, towards Canaan. They, they sucked it now and you need to be able to understand what really took place. Like I said, these are the things that you need to be able to understand. The Most High already made us to know and understand about the things that took place in regards to Jacob, in regards to Abraham. When the Most High called Abraham, this is what you need to be able to understand. When the Malak called Abraham and said to him, look at the stars. Can you be able to count them? Can you be able to read the stars? So shall I make that should and that seed be, they are going to be unnumbered. So somebody taught Abraham how to be able to do what? To count the stars. Somebody taught Abraham how to be able to do what? How to master, to, to be the master astrologer. So before he entered into a certain place, he was already being taught by somebody who is higher. And the same way, that is how he passed it across to his generation. And through that, his generation now are now going into different places. And they are sucking. They are now collecting whatsoever energy that belongs to them. And those energy that belongs to them is the life that is controlling that particular places. Which is the reason why when they left Egypt and they are on their way towards Canaan, which is what you need to be able to overstand, they were now moving towards that west coast of Africa. They were now moving towards that land, the inner west, the central Africa, and different places in the continent of Africa. Moving towards that particular place. This was the energy which they have pulled. They went into the west coast of Africa to build another pyramid. To let people know that, what, that they were the same people who even erected when you talk about the pyramid Giza. They erected it. The purpose of why they erected those ones go and into the west coast of Africa, and you're going to see the evidence to show you that what that they are the same people who built the same one that you see in what in Kemet. But they left it as a footprint to show you that there are people who masters who are the masters of what of this particular galaxy. When you talk about the masters controllers, those people who know how to be able to harness those energy, those raw energy, they are not these people. I know after I know your money, your piece of piece of worthless papers. They are about the real energy. They are after the real energy, the real source of the real energy. These people ain't know any other kind of beings who are going to be here, you know, playing with what with gold or merchandise. Of these people go far beyond. They operate with wisdom. So what I'm saying, my dear brothers and sisters, you need to be able to really understand the steps. Because in Egypt, the Bible recorded that in Egypt it was in Egypt that Jacob died. And Joseph died in Egypt. So his brethren were already being blessed or were already being baruched by, his, by their parents, by, his, by Jacob. That they are going to, so each person has his own role which is going to play as they are going towards this journey until they come back into their father's house, which is the land, into their father's house where it was being promised to them. Until they come back and bring them back into the place where they are supposed to be. Into the place where they used to be before they are manifested in this form. And these are the journeys. So if you don't understand the real mysteries of the sojourning of Jacob, of the sojourning of Abraham. From the, land, from the awe of the Chaldeans, he left there, he was being called out. 
The same way that you see that what when the children of Jacob entered into the land of Israel or in, into the land of Egypt, what does the Bible say? They were being called. So where they were coming out, a mixed multitude were with them. And those mixed multitude were people who were obedient, who were loyal to what to the most high. Yahuwah, who was also leading the people, who was also leading the children of Jacob, who was also leading them. So what happened? The mixed multitude who believed in Yahuwah while in Egypt, the revelation was being given to them and they were all together and they were all pulled together from the Asian Commission land to suck the energy because now they have gone and they have gotten energy. Now they sucked it and now they are on their destination, on their way to their own destination. This is why you need to be able to understand what really took place. A lot of people came down here and they are confused. They did not understand the magnitude. When you talk about the Kemet, the people that really rules and runs that ancient land of Kemet is nothing but the children of Jacob who were there. They are the ones that knew the secret of that Canaan. They were the ones that knew the secret of Egypt. They were the ones that exposed and revealed and used, you know, used the opportunity to be able to suck the whole energy from Egypt out. When they suck the whole energy of the Egypt, Egypt in no longer. This is why you people are going there to be able to say that you are going to see whatsoever there. Because the glory had departed. The glory now had departed from Egypt. Somebody's constructed it. So this is why I tell you that the time is going to come when the same people who suck the, the glory out of it are going to send entities, are going to send beings there in order to destroy it. Some of you think that what is happening is just, you know, you are just going to be seen and just, you don't understand the magnitude of what, of what is taking place. That there are people who are on their course, on their journey towards eternity. And they know that they are sojourners. They know that where they are at is what is just for a time. They know that they are passerby. And while they are passing by to a certain place, they have their stop somewhere. And this particular place where they have their, had their stop, they are coming there in order to suck the energy out of them. So the more they are sucking those energy, if you, are, if you don't understand what is going on, your own energy is going to be drawn out together with these people. Together with the people of the land. This is why you need to be able to understand to those people who have ears, let them hear. Because what you need to be able to understand, you see what is going on in the, in, when you talk about the ancient Kemet. Why they left that particular land and they are on their way towards the land of Canaan, towards the place which was being promised to them. The people who were not ready, who did not understand the level or the next dimension which has come up. After them leaving the land of Egypt, what happened to them? What happened to them? Because they were still stuck. They did not understand the magnitude of what was taking place. They did not understand that they were no longer, they were not ordinary beings. They were stuck in what, in what was going on in Kemet. And that was the reason why so many of them were being crushed. The ones who were being crushed in what, when they came out. Because they did not understand. The mixed multitude who entered, that is the who came out. So this was what you need to be able to understand. That is where now Israel now is being formed. And now when you talk about Jacob, still his own children dispersed. Dispersed and now established themselves in different places. More especially now in the west coast of Africa. And that is where they built the pyramid which they built. It. And people ain't talking. Nobody, even, even the, a lot of people do not even know about which they built it. But they had to be able to build the pyramid which they built it. Which on the ground connected the people all the way towards, to the ancient land of Kemet. But these are the secrets which they will not tell people. But we are here to be able to let you know. To be able to reveal to you the things which is happening. You need to be able to understand, my dear brothers and sisters, that there are beings, there are people, there are beings, there are star beings who are from the luminary that you have to be able to manifest in this physical. In order for you to be able to manifest in this physical, somebody constructed something in order to be able to trap you from that liquid form, from that vaporized form, from that whatsoever form that you wear, this particular body that was, that you wear, whatsoever form that you wear, that particular form before it became this solid. Somebody constructed something to trap you, which is like the womb now, which is that particular pyramid now, which was trapping sound to now pull beings, to now pull a certain body. 
And now when you are being trapped, when you are being drawn, somebody was actually calling for their witnesses. Somebody was calling for their higher ones to be able to come and help them out. Which is why when they came down here, they did not look nobody's eyes. They were ready to be able to tear everything down. You don't understand the mystery of what is going on. We're here to be able to elevate our brothers and sisters for the, uh, to open up their spiritual eyes. To, to see them through, to be able to lead them in the way of Yahushua, to be able to elevate them. So this is the reason why I speak about the people who are focused on Kemet. They did not understand the magnitude of what overrides Kemet. Just like what I was saying, that some people came down and they are trying to now point you to the things which are written down there. When, when already the revelation of things has already been revealed, the purpose of the construct of that particular pyramid itself was to draw sound, was to draw that particular word in order for the word to be what to be manifested. And when this word was being manifested, I want you to be able to overstand. And the people who constructed this thing were the children of God. The children of God were the people who constructed this thing. And what was the purpose why they had to be able to construct these things? It's because they needed to be able to call their higher witness. And their higher witness, when their higher witness, mani when the higher witness manifested, when the higher witness was being drawn through this particular construct which they were, which they constructed, when the when the higher which is Yahushua, when he manifested, therefore whatsoever that he speaks about, whatsoever that comes out of his mouth. Override whatsoever already that is written on the walls. So why people are going to be deviated based on the things which are already written on the walls of, of Kemet? Somebody is already there speaking the things that override the things which are already written on the walls there. So you are going to be carried away if you are not following just the same way that you see people following the law of, of, of Moses written. When the word has already been spoken, the word goes out. This word is the higher witness which the children of God invited, bring, brought in someone who is higher than they to be able to give a witness about if they are serving the true creator or not. Some of you don't understand what is going on. Some of you don't understand that the children of God were the ones that built the manifest, the magnificent, the magnificent pyramid in order for them to draw witness, to bring in the witness. And this witness is Yahushua. So when Yahushua manifested after the same construct of that pyramid, the first person that manifested in that particular construct is Yahushua. And the purpose of his manifestation was to come and be a witness to these particular people. Which is why when he speaks out things, he was the one that was commanding for the construct of it right from eternity. He was the one that was running the, the whole house of what of Jacob. So when he manifested, which he was the witness which they were calling to be able to be a witness if they are, you know, to be a witness for them. So when they pulled him. When they pulled that word from eternity and that word now became flesh. You remember what the scripture said? When they pulled that word from eternity, from that form which that word was, and that word now became flesh. Now this word is now a witness to these people. So you don't have to be able to be deviated by the things which are written on the walls of the ancient pyramid. Because even those people, what they used it for is to be able to lay the foundation in order to draw their higher witness. So if you are based, if you are looking on those things which are called the heliographics, or you look on those things which are there, you will not be able to really see the higher revelation. If you are, if you are focused on those things now, you can see the higher revelation, which those particular things was preparing you for in order to bring. Because ain't nobody, they are going to be deserted on the right, on the things which they are supposed to be following. So these are the things that you need to be able to overstand. Somebody laid the foundation. Somebody had to be able to call the higher witness. Why they were in, why they were already before they manifested. To be able to, that is why they constructed it. That is why they constructed the pyramid. That in order to do what to pull the true source, the true energy, the true word to be manifested. And that true word to be able to be their own witness. 
Because they all were already being spoken to say. You know, their brethren already were already against the children of God and say that the God are already what? That they are, that they are doing all, that they are idol worshippers. They are idol worshippers and whatsoever. And what does the Bible say? The Bible now say, the Bible make us to understand. In order for God to be able to prove to his own brethren, to show them, to let them know that they serve the true Elohim, what do they do? They had to be able to lay the foundation to be able to do what to bring their in, to bring in their witness, to witness for them. And that is the reason why they pulled, they constructed what pulled the energy, what pulled the word, and this word, that is why it manifested to be flesh. You are in the flesh. You, you don't understand that something happened for you to be in the flesh. You don't understand that something happened for you to be in the flesh. You don't understand that. But you understand that somebody can be able to do something. You, you understand that somebody can be able to do something and, and construct a car. Or a motor car, a vehicle. Somebody can be able to manufacture that car in a, in, a, in a factory. And you know that one. But you don't know that somebody, in order for you to manufacture a car, you have to have a factory that can be able to bring all those things, components together in order to form this particular car that you're seeing. Right? You, don't, you know that. But you don't know that somebody has to put things together in order to be able to trap the word that is coming from eternity and allow this particular word and manifest it in this form so that you can be able to see, touch, and see all these things that you are seeing now. You can be able to touch them and feel like this is what, this is what you're touching. You don't understand. Somebody did something. Somebody has to be able to put work in place. Somebody has to be able to really use this particular... So the people, the master's architects, this is what the people I'm talking about. The masters, the people who knows how to plan things. The people who knows how to draw in their weaknesses. The people who know how to pull, how to be able to really bring in their own ancient witnesses into this particular time. Which is why the sons and the daughters are here. This is why when Yahushua manifested, the Bible said the word became flesh. How is it that the word became flesh? Because somebody already constructed something in order to draw that word for the word to be what to be flesh. Without somebody putting in something in place, how can the word be manifested to be flesh? So that flesh which you are seeing, that body which you are seeing, somebody who constructed that thing that brought that particular being, that flesh there, was doing it in order for that flesh to be a witness to him on what he has done. But you don't understand it right you don't understand it. You need to be able to understand the secret knowledge, the hidden mysteries that has been hidden in a plain sight. Only those people who have the spirit and the ruach of Yahushua. So when Yahushua was being manifested, when he speaks out, when he speaks, the word that comes out of his mouth overrides everything. When you talk about those, the Moses, when you talk about those, the people who are in the ancient camp. So when you are in that spirit, you will be able to really see and understand because those words are not an ordinary word. They are the words of the spirit beings. Now only the higher ones will be able to do what to grasp and harness the mystery of that particular word. And these are the things that you need to be able to understand. The Bible says, I'm the way, I'm the truth and life. And nobody who comes to the Father except by me. So you're trying to be able to use your whatsoever means and you try to bypass. You don't understand that the master plan has been laid for the longest. And if you try anything, your own energy is going to be drawn. So the people, I'm telling you, gatekeepers are everywhere. And those them gatekeepers are unchecked by somebody else. And you don't understand it. So this is why so many people are going to be recycled. So they can be able to get out. But their energy is going to be completely being recycled within this particular third dimensional paradigm. Because they are not able to really see. They are not able to be or you know to be ready to be able to understand. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I'm here to be able to speak to my brothers and sisters and elevate them. To set them on the course for their journey towards eternity. You need to be able to understand that you are children of yesterday. You are on a mission. In this particular time that you're seeing, in order to fulfill the promises, the promises of what is already been spoken to you of tomorrow. You need to be able to overstand my dear brothers and sisters out there. I speak the words 
to those people who have eyes to see, who have ears to hear. And I pray, may the Most High, whose name is Yahuwah, be the one to elevate my brothers and sisters and give them a higher revelation of the word which has already been spoken. And may the word itself have roots and bear fruit in their lives. In the name of Yahushua, I say to you all, may you remain baruched in the name of Yahushua. Shalom, shalom to you all. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Shalom.